friends in this module let us discuss about some definitions of language which throw light on the characteristics and functions of language some of the major misconceptions because of the unawareness of nature and structure of language and the two languages that is mother tongue l1 and the second language l2 are dealt in detail language its introduction language is the light of mind said john stuart mill language is the wine upon lips says virginia wolf no doubt it is a divine gift to mankind language is the species specific and species uniform position of man it is that unique ability which differentiates him from other creatures of the world it forms friendship cultural ties and economic relationships language shapes and communicates thoughts and emotions and determines one's perceptions of reality the linguist edward sapir considers language not only as a vehicle for expression of thoughts perceptions sentiments and value characteristics of a community but also as a fundamental expression of social identity definitions of language The Oxford English Dictionary defines language as the whole body of words and methods of combination of words used by a nation, people or race, a tongue which implies that a language can exist in spoken as well as written forms. In the Encyclopedia Britannica, volume 13, language is defined as a system of conventional spoken or written symbols by means of which human beings as a member of social group and participants in its culture communicate in the words of edward sapir language is a purely human and non instinctive method of communicating ideas emotions and desires by means of a system of voluntary produced symbols a language is a symbol system based on pure and arbitrary convention infinitely extendable and modifiable according to the changing needs and conditions of the speaker says r h robins according to an ancient linguistic of india padanjali language is that human expression which is uttered out by speech organs language is a very complex human phenomenon all attempts to define it have proved inadequate In a nutshell language is an organized noise used in actual social situations that is why it has also been defined as the contextualized systematic sounds characteristics of language it is clear from the above definitions that language is multifaceted and complex now of the above definitions are inadequate to describe all the characteristics of language how many characteristics are minimally sufficient to describe a language some of the key properties of language are as follows language is verbal vocal language is sound language is an organization of sounds of vocal symbols the sound produced from the mouth with the help of various organs of speech to convey some meaningful message speech is primary to writing There are many languages in the world which have no writing system yet they are languages because they are spoken language is a systematic verbal symbolism which makes use of sounds words and phrases which are arranged in certain ways to make sentences language is a system of systems a system is a group of related parts working together Every language operates within its system. Language has various systems within it and they are systems themselves. For example, in the system of sounds known as phonological system, the sounds which are used to form words which in turn are used in speech utterances are always arranged in particular ways or designs which convey the same meaning to all the speakers of the language. English language has three systems they are phonology the system of sounds syntax 
the system of words and semantics the system of meanings. Arbitrariness of language. Language is entirely arbitrary as there is no logical relationship between the sound and form of any word and the object which it represents. We use different words for the same object in different languages. For example, the English word tree corresponds with Mara of Kannada or Vriksha of Sanskrit or Maram of Malayalam. There is apparently no natural relationship between the various sounds that are used by these languages and the meaning that is denoted by them. The relationship between these sounds and meaning is completely arbitrary. The existence of arbitrariness does not mean that a speaker is free to use whatever sounds or sequence of sounds that come to his mind to represent a given meaning. There would have been no question of different languages if arbitrariness were not a property of language. Language is symbolic. Language is a system of arbitrary vocal symbols. For concepts, things, ideas, objects, etc., we have sounds and words as symbols. Language use words essentially as symbols and not as signs for the concepts represented by them. For example, book is a kind of symbol, like a picture of a book, but made of sound. Language is non-instinctive, conventional. Language does not grow in a day. It is the outcome of evolution and convention. Being a set of convention, it can only be learned and transmitted through convention. Each generation transmits this convention on to the next. It cannot be enjoyed as an inherent quality. During this transmission, language changes, expands, grow and die. So every language is a convention in a society. Language is not inherited, it is acquired, so it is non-instinctive. Language is a social phenomenon. Language is a set of conventional communicative signals used by humans for communication in a society. In this sense, it is the possession of a social group comprising an indispensable set of rules which permits its members to relate to each other, to interact with each other, to cooperate with each other. It is a social institution. It is as a member of a society that a human being acquires language. Language is a means of communication. Language is the most powerful convenient and permanent means and form of communication. Language is the best means of self-expression. It is through language that human beings express their thoughts, desires, emotions and feelings. It is through communication that they transmit messages, knowledge and experience from one person to another, from one generation to another. Language is productive and creative. Language is both creative and productive. Language is a system of expression of thought, feelings, views, culture, etc. With language, we can understand and produce any number of sentences. The structural elements of human language can be combined to produce an infinite set of new and powerful utterances that no one has ever said before. The number of sentences that can be constructed in a language is limitless. Language is human and structurally complex. No species other than humans have been endowed with language. Animals also communicate, but it can't be regarded as language. As they do not possess a well-developed brain and articulatory organs as human beings, they cannot acquire human language. Human language is a system of systems. The words in a language cannot occur in any random order as it has its own grammatical structure. This makes it complex, open-ended, extendable and modifiable. 
it has much wider range of flexibility, nobility, variety and creativity. Language and displacement. Language has the power of displacement either in space or time. It allows us to think of and communicate about something or someone that is not immediately present. Language can be used to refer to real or imagined matters in the past, present or future. It can be used not only in the direct context to which it refers to, but also when the context referred to is absent. A man can dream of his future. He can discuss about the movie he saw last night or he can talk about his new car which is not actually in front of him. Duality in language. Language appears to be organized at least at two levels. The primary level consisting of the units and the secondary level consisting of the elements. Each language has a stock of sound, units or phonemes. Each phoneme is meaningless in isolation. It becomes meaningful only when it is combined with other phonemes. The word bat is formed by the combination of three speech sounds, a consonant b, a vowel a and a consonant t. These speech sounds at the primary level are meaningless if they are uttered in isolation. It is only when these primary elements are combined at the secondary level in a systematic way that they convey meaning. The organization of language into two layers, a layer of sound which combines into a second layer of larger units is known as duality or double articulation. Misconceptions about language the misconceptions arise because of the improper and inadequate reflection on the nature and structure of language. Some of the major misconceptions about language are that the written form is more prestigious than the spoken form. Human beings began speaking many tens of thousands of years before the first writing. Speech is the primary form of language and writing is its graphical representation. There are many languages which are only spoken and have no written form. So it is not true that written form is more prestigious than the spoken form of a language. Some languages are superior to another. Every language represents its culture in the best possible way. Every culture has its uniqueness. No culture is superior or inferior. Language understood as the particular set of speech norms of a particular society are also the part of a large culture of the community that speak them. So no language is superior to another. Children learn language merely by imitation. Children learn language not only through imitation but also through innateness, intellectual development and input and enforcement. The language is an instinctive and inherited property of man. Language is not instinctive as it cannot be learned spontaneously without effort or instruction. It is not developed in a day. Each generation pass on the set of convention of their language to its successors. Human language is unique in being symbolic communication system that is learned instead of biologically inherited. The non-instinctive nature is responsible for the change and growth of language in course of time. Languages are logical. The symbols of a language are arbitrary. For example, illogical spelling and anomalous pronunciation make English language much more arbitrary. Example, the sound f enough, lieutenant, far, philosophy, etc. Languages are unlearnable. Language learning is not difficult. It may take time, but we need to have will and time. We must be ready to listen to, read, speak and then to write and practice the target language. 
there are exact equivalence between words of two languages there are no exact equivalence between words of any two languages languages based on history tradition and culture of its people so its words cannot be exactly translated into another language there are exact equivalence for words within a language no two words in a language have the same meaning they may have similar meanings but there might be a delicate shade of difference in their meaning functions of language there is nothing more subtle than language is and nothing has as many different uses language is often spoken as a tool because it is used to perform the function of letting other people know our thoughts ideas and emotions language is used in different ways in accordance with the different purposes to be served some of the functions of language are as follows instrumental language is used as means of satisfying wants or needs example may i take your pen regulatory language is used for controlling others behavior example teacher asks the student sit quiet interactional language is used for establishing and maintaining interpersonal relationship example wishing a friend a happy birthday personal language is used to express feelings opinions and individual identity example i am feeling very depressed today heuristic language is used to learn about and describe the world example is the life in moon imaginative language is used to describe our own world it is used to tell stories and jokes and to create an imaginary environment example writing a poem story representational or informational language is used as a means of expressing prepositions or as a means of conveying facts and information example how does a seed grow even in the most ordinary use of language we find a combination of these functions we have to make use of the multiple and mixed functions of a language to make the communication effective mother tongue the first language mother tongue is one parent language or native language it is the language first learned by the child according to oxford dictionaries it is the language which a person has grown up speaking from the early childhood the first language or mother tongue of a person is the part of their personal social and cultural identity mother tongue brings about the reflection and learning of successful social patterns of acting and speaking it is an indispensable instrument for the development of intellectual moral and physical aspects of a person clarity of thought and expression is only possible if one have certain command over his mother tongue it is also the language of thought expressions and dreams of a human being one can express his thoughts very easily in mother tongue than in any other language february 21st was declared as the international mother tongue day by unesco in 1999 to be celebrated worldwide mother tongue is one in which a man is born it is like a shadow indispensable from his personality english the second language second language l2 is any language learned after the first language or the mother tongue english a west germanic language spoken originally in england is our second language and is the most widely used language today it is one of the richest languages of the world and the language of signs trade and commerce it is an international language and is spoken and understood by more than half the population of the world 
English came to India with the British rulers. Along with their prosperity in Indian soil, English language also flourished. But it did not leave India along with British. In spite of all the opposition and protest, English language stayed here with us as the second language. The inseparable relationship of this foreign language with our culture is quite amazing. It is now the associate official language of India. The history of English growth and development in India is dealt in detail in the next module. Language is far too complicated, intriguing and mysterious to be explained by definitions. Let me conclude by quoting Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Language is the armory of the human mind and at once contains the trophies of its past and the weapons of its future conquests. Samuel Taylor Coleridge Language is the armory of human mind and at once contains the trophies of its past and the weapons of its future conquests. Before we attend the next unit, please try to answer the following questions. Define language. What are the characteristics of language? Point out some misconceptions about language. What are the major functions of language? The books for your reference are The Growth and Structure of English Language by Anna Kurian, Student Store, Bareilly. An introductory textbook of linguistics and phonetics by R. L. Washney, Student Store, Bareilly. Principles of Teaching English by S. Venkateshwaran, Vikas Publishing House, Private Limited, New Delhi. Hope you have enjoyed the session well. Bye till we meet next time. Thank you.